I am Nick Shell, a certified Enneagram coach. You're watching this video because you want to know what I learned when I read this book that's kind of hard to see because it's almost the same colors on the walls, but it's The Honest Enneagram by Sarah Jane Case. I'm making a video for all nine Enneagram types based on the notes that I took and therefore the things that I learned uh, from the book on each of these. You're watching the video on number three. And by the way, if you want to buy this book that inspired this video and taught me this stuff, you can actually click a link right there. It'll take you to it on Amazon. If you want to learn your Enneagram personality, there's a free test you can take right there. It takes about 10 minutes. Or if you want to become certified like I have, uh, and two other people of my viewers already have done that by clicking that link, it's all right there for you. Let's get to it. Here's the notes on Enneagram 3s from me learning from that book. 3s are nicknamed the empowering motivator. It says they achieve success uh, or they specifically they want to achieve a successful image by if there is self-preservation by working hard and doing the best they can or if there is social subtype by finding recognition through success or if they're the uh, sexual or the one-to-one -one, uh, then it would they would be focused on success by being attractive to a potential partner and supporting successful successful people in their pursuits wow that's very specific so there you go but some things i learned about threes uh, always looking for the next level of success. If, I would highly recommend if you're a three, watch my next guest on Netflix with David Letterman. The timing is very strange, but he happened to have released a new episode where he interviewed Will Smith. And this was right, uh, it was filmed before the whole, you know, slap thing happened. But then it wasn't released until after it happened. And it's really interesting to see Will Smith talking about how no matter how successful he's ever been, he can never be happy and at peace with that. So I'd highly recommend that if you're an Enneagram 3, you can kind of see a very famous person whose folly actually was wrapped up in that too. It's very interesting. So always looking for the next level of success, uh, that there is no top to reach. Uh, true success, though, is how you feel about your life. If you're a three, how you feel about your life is actually the success. Uh, it says threes are often charming. They are aware and engaged in self-starters. Uh, threes need to focus on accomplishments, not successes. So uh, success can be somewhat of a relative term, but an accomplishment and how you feel about that accomplishment arguably would determine reality in a healthy way for if you're a three. It says threes are the happiest and healthiest when they incorporate failure into their lives. It's so funny. I'm filming this during my lunch break at work. My boss, who's a three, had just talked about this. We were revisiting our uh, New Year's resolutions and she was saying how specifically she is learning to embrace failure because that's how she learns and improves. So yeah, that's, that's definitely a thing for a three. Uh, it says threes also experience growth and doing good for others in secret instead of you know helping at the food drive and then put it on instagram or facebook just don't tell anybody just do that for you and, and for those people but not for an audience uh, it says learn to appreciate your own hard work do something that embarrasses you regularly be silly so kind of like with ones part of their growth is to is to be silly and have fun same thing with threes uh, because basically the idea of making fun of yourself in, in a silly way in your mind kind of associates with failure, though it's not really failure, but it's kind of a micro dose of failure that actually helps you grow if you're a three. So it says, learn to enjoy, uh, learn what you enjoy outside of it, impressing others. Remember that negative feedback is not failure. Keep some things to yourself and for yourself and find a creative outlet that doesn't make you money right away. So there you go. I think that's uh, very, uh, very insightful information, but I think also for me, not being a three, I feel that threes are some of the most obvious. When, when you know a three, most threes act alike. So I have found, despite the subtypes, you pretty much always know a three because they fear failure and they'll tell you up front. Your comments belong right here.